Instant Messaging in Teamwork. In this step, we will find out more about the instant messaging feature of ARCHICAD's teamwork environment. Both team members will be sending messages to each other while working out the construction documentation of the site plan. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Mary Jones, the lead architect of this project. You can maximize the floor plan viewpoint as we do not need to see the two ARCHICAD instances side by side anymore. Double click to activate the 4.2.1 Sending Messages 1 preset view located in the Chapter 4 folder of the Navigator view map belonging to Mary. This area of the site plan shows another building area in Graphisoft Park. The construction of this project was completed while we were working on the construction documentation of our office building. Now the environment of our building site needs to be updated to reflect the final state of the site. There is an existing sidewalk to which new sidewalks have been added. Our site plan needs to be updated to reflect these changes. Mary Jones, the lead architect of our project, will communicate with Joe Smith, draftsman, about updating the site plan using ARCHICAD's built-in instant messaging technology. She will also be able to check Joe's work once he has updated the site plan in ARCHICAD's teamwork environment. Make sure that you are using the ARCHICAD instance for Mary Jones. Click to select Joe Smith on the Users panel of the Teamwork palette, and click the Send Message button at the bottom of the panel. This is the third button from the right. The New Message dialog opens, and you can write an instant message in Mary's name. Since you have already selected Joe Smith, the To field of the message has been filled in automatically by ARCHICAD. Enter the following message for Joe. Please modify sidewalks at SAP building as per worksheet W1. Click the priority button in the upper right corner of the dialog. Here you can select normal or high priority for the message. We will send this message with a normal priority. Click the send button to send the message to Joe Smith. Notice that Joe Smith receives the message immediately. The new message is displayed in the Messages panel of his Teamwork palette, and it will also appear in a message box on the screen for a few seconds. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Joe Smith and have a closer look at the Messages panel of the Teamwork palette. There are three buttons at the top of this panel. These are the To Do, My Pending Requests, and completed message category buttons. The To Do category contains all new messages received. The My Pending Requests category contains messages in which you are requesting an element from another user which they have reserved. The message will stay in the category until your request is either granted or denied by the other user. We will talk more about this in later steps of this guide. You can use the completed category to store those messages which have already been handled by you and therefore need no further attention. Double-click the new message text to open it. The message dialog comes up and shows the name of the sender, the exact date and time the message was sent, and displays the text of the message. There are two buttons at the bottom of this dialog. Using these, you can either close the message and keep it in the To Do Message category, or move it to the Completed Message category. Please note that once you have moved a message to the Completed category, it cannot be moved back to the To Do category. It's recommended to move it to the Completed category only after the requested action has been fulfilled. Click the Close button to close this dialog. Double-click to activate the 4.2.2 Site Preset View located in the Chapter 4 folder of the Navigator View Map in the ARCHICAD instance of Joe Smith.
Switch to the All with Original Color option in the Colored Workspaces field of the Teamwork palette. The floor plan window shows what part of the site needs to be modified. We will use the Rotate Orientation feature of ARCHICAD to perform the necessary action. This enables us to temporarily rotate the project orientation of the floor plan. This way, we can rotate the axis of inclined directions with the horizontal and vertical directions to ease our work. Click the Rotate Orientation button on the horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of the floor plan window. Click the point of label 1.1 to define the center of rotation. Then the point of label 1.2 to define the starting point of the rotation arc. And finally, the point of label 1.3 for the end point of the rotation arc. The floor plan orientation has now been rotated clockwise so that the horizontal direction aligns with the main directions of the SAP building. You can now see an angle value in the field to the right of the Rotate Orientation button on the horizontal scroll bar. This is the current angle value of the original horizontal axis. The default value of this would be 0 degrees. The X and Y coordinate radius and angle values are always relative to the horizontal and vertical directions of your screen, and they do not rotate along with the rotation of the floor plan. This is also true for the values displayed in the Tracker palette. Double-click to activate the 4.2.3 Site Drawing Preset View located in the Chapter 4 folder of the Navigator View Map. Along with many other settings, saved views in the View Map also store the rotated orientation value of a saved floor plan viewpoint. Activate the View Trace menu command to turn on Trace Display. Then activate the View, Trace Options, choose Reference, browse for Trace Reference menu command. Make sure that the project map is selected at the top left corner of the Choose Trace dialog. Expand the Worksheets group in the Project Hierarchy and click on the W1 SAP Site Worksheet in the list to select it. Finally, click OK to proceed. The site received from the Landscape Designer is traced below the site plan. The trace reference is automatically turned on and colors also change. The active floor plan viewpoint is shown with red. The landscape reference plan is shown with blue. Activate the view, trace options, drag reference menu command. First, click the point of label 1.1. and then the point of label 1.2 to drag the landscape trace reference to match it to the site plan. The landscape reference drawing has now been placed at its correct location and neatly overlaps our site plan drawing. The only lines you see in different colors are those lines in the trace reference which we need to update on our site plan. Switch back to the view map in the navigator and double click to activate the 4.2.4 Sidewalk Slab Preset View located in the Chapter 4 folder. Make sure that the arrow tool is selected in the toolbox and shift click above the point of label 1.1 to select the thin vertical sidewalk slab piece. Please do not click the label arrow, but rather the surface of the slab above. Click the Reserve button of the Teamwork palette to reserve the slab. Click to activate the Slab tool in the toolbox.
Click the right vertical edge of the slab to bring up the pet palette and select the Add to Polygon command. Hold down the space key to activate the ARCHICAD magic wand. Use this feature to add the area of the horizontal slab strip to the right by clicking on its polygon. Click the edge of the slab near label 1.2. Please refer to the ARCHICAD Essentials Interactive Training Guide for a detailed explanation of the Magic Wand feature. Use the same technique to add the polygon right of the point of label 1.3 to the slab. We have now made modifications to the sidewalk slab. Click the Reset Orientation button in the scroll bar at the bottom of the floor plan window. This will reset the orientation of the floor plan to its default state. Turn off the Trace Reference Display from the View menu. In the Messages panel of the Teamwork palette, Right-click the messages received from Mary Jones and select Move to Completed from the appearing context menu. The message disappears from the To-Do list. Click the Completed Category button at the top of the Messages panel of the Teamwork palette. As you can see, the message has been moved to this category. Click the right pointing arrow to the right of the Send and Receive button of the Teamwork palette and select Send Changes from the list. This will send only your changes back to the server without receiving changes of other team members. Make sure that the previously edited sidewalk slab is still selected. Right-click on it and select Ask for Review from the context menu that appears. Click the To button in the dialog and check Mary Jones in the pop-up list of users. Then click on the Message field of the dialog to accept this choice. Write in the message body, Done, Please Review. Notice that in such a case, the Review Selected Elements option is automatically selected in the Optional Task field. The Optional Task button may be used to add a task to the context menu of the message you are sending. In this case, we will help Mary Jones review the changes we have performed in the name of Joe Smith. Let's see how this works. Click Send to send this message. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Mary Jones and notice that Joe's message has already arrived. Click the Send and Receive button of the Teamwork palette to receive the changes made to the slab. Right-click on the message from Joe Smith and have a closer look at the context menu. Notice that the Show Elements option is added to this context menu because Joe selected the Review Selected Elements Task option when he sent the message. Now, let's select this option from the context menu to display the changes with a single click. The Sidewalk Slab element that was edited by Joe Smith is immediately shown and selected in Mary's project to help her work. The modifications are fine, so Mary can consider this task completed. Right-click the message sent by Joe Smith and select Move to Completed from the context menu.